Okay, the other side of this project is, is where we need to set this file up so it will cut more efficiently um, and kind of explaining, you know, what we did uh, in the previous videos. We established the contour cut line. We established our reg marks. We uh, exported two different file uh, files. We created a cut file for the ESCO cutter to see, and then we created the uh, print file for the printer to see. Uh, but uh, one of the things that we're going to discuss in this uh, particular demo is how to make this more efficient because we're going to, we want to, this is fine if we're just producing one decal, but you know, what if somebody wants a hundred decals? We wouldn't, we wouldn't want to print just one at a time and cut out just one at a time. So I'm going to kind of quickly show you how to set up your print file uh, a little bit more efficiently. And this is kind of what I want you to do on your project because I think I'm asking you to produce 20 or so decals. So uh, we're going to utilize what we've already set up uh, except for the reg marks. So I'm going to come over to my layers panel and delete my reg marks for right now. Um, and then I'm going to select everything um, on my um, artboard through Command A. And I'm going to uh, copy that for right now. And I'm going to set up a new document, uh, and I'm going to print this on a much bigger uh, piece of material. So I'm going to set up a four foot by four foot document because uh, that's about the size I'm going to print. You may not need something that big, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and set it up like that. And then I'm going to paste my decal in place uh, in here. And so I don't know if it brought my cut file or not. It doesn't appear to. So I'm going to, if I notice my layers all or back to one. I'm going to select my cut. I'm going to recreate that so that I now I have a cut layer um, as well. So because I want all that on one file, uh, then it's a matter of just copying. And I'm going to option and drag to create a copy like this. And then I could hit Command D, which is kind of to duplicate what I just did. And then I can again select everything, Command drag. And that gives me a copy. I can duplicate it like this. Command D. And so now I have one big file because I want to produce, I want to do mass quantities of this. So I'm kind of stepping and repeating um, this decal across this four foot by four foot uh, uh, section here. That's kind of what I want to print. So I have to go back and establish my reg marks because now I just want one set of reg marks. Uh, if I'd have done it the other way, like I did over here, uh, with just one at a time, the the printer and the, the printer would print everything as as a multiple. I can duplicate it at the printer rip, but I can't duplicate my reg marks. And I don't want to have reg marks around each decal because that slows my production down. And you'll see what I'm talking about when we go to shoot that uh, video. But I'm going to go back to my AI cut, add I cut register mark panel. Uh, command hit OK, and you can see it established uh, these reg marks in the corner. The reason it does two in one corner is that the, it, it basically makes orientation a lot easier because when we go to the ESCO, uh, if I was doing a, let's say, a rectangle, it would be hard to tell, you know, which way does this thing go. But it's pretty easy to see how ours goes because of the shape of the contour. But anyhow, same kind of procedure. I've established my reg mark layer cut layer, art layer, I would go through uh, saving my PDFs like I did in the previous demo. So I'm going to toss my art real quick, save this file. This is my cut, uh, uh, my uh, decal cut file as a PDF. Save that, undo to bring my art back and then I'm going to delete or just turn off my cut line because I don't want to see this contour cut uh, when I go to print it and then save this as a PDF and this will just be my print file. And so what that does, it, it basically uh, creates a print file with multiple copies up, which is what I want you to do on your project. And then it creates a file here. Again, if I were to do it uh, like I did before, just do one at a time, it would take us forever to do multiple copies. Um, I mean, you could do it, just it slows down production. So we're going to get a little bit smarter. We're going to create a 
file with multiple copies already up in my cut and my print. So then we'd be we would drop these uh, on the uh, rip, uh, the appropriate rip for whatever we're trying to do. I would drop this on my wide format print. I would drop this on my ESCO uh, hot folder and move on to the next station.